Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematical Explorations. Transformation law of contravariant tensor. Let us consider the coordinate of a point B x upper suffix i where i goes from 1 to n in n dimensional space. Let x prime i be the coordinates of the same point with respect to another frame of reference. Therefore, x prime i is equal to function of x upper suffix i. So, this can be written as dx prime i is equal to del f by del x1 into dx1 plus del f by del x2 into dx2 plus dot 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 del f by del xn into dxn. Now, dx prime i equal to del x prime i divided by del x1 into dx1 plus del x prime i by del x2 into dx2 plus dot 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 del x prime i divided by del x n into dx n. So, in terms of summation, it can be written as dx prime i will be equal to summation alpha goes from 1 to n del x prime i divided by del x alpha into dx alpha. So, which implies dx prime i will be equal to del x prime i divided by del x alpha into dx alpha by using the summation convention, which implies a prime i is equal to del x prime i divided by del x alpha into a alpha, writing dx alpha is equal to a alpha. Definition in e set of n functions a upper suffix alpha where alpha goes from 1 to dot 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 n when transforms to another set of n functions a prime i where i goes from 1 to n according to the transformation a prime upper suffix i is equal to del x prime upper suffix i divided by del x alpha into a upper suffix alpha is called contravariant tensor of rank 1. Transformation law of covariant tensor. Let us consider the coordinates of a point B x upper suffix i where i goes from 1 to n in n dimensional space. Let x prime i be the coordinates of the same point with respect to another frame of reference. So, therefore, we can write x upper suffix i is equal to phi of x prime upper suffix i. Now, this can be written as del phi by del x prime upper suffix i is equal to del phi by del x1 into del x1 by del x prime i plus del phi by del x2 into del x2 by del x prime i plus dot 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 plus del phi by del x n into del x n by del x prime i which can be written as in terms of summation alpha goes from 1 to n del phi by del x alpha into del x alpha by del x prime upper suffix i again by using the Einstein summation convention, it can be written as del phi by del x alpha into del x alpha by del x prime upper suffix i. Now, the left hand side can be written as a prime lower suffix i equal to a lower suffix alpha into del x alpha divided by del x prime i. Definition Any set of n functions a lower suffix alpha, alpha varies from 1 to n when transforms to another set of n functions a prime lower suffix i where i goes from 1 to n according to the transformation a prime lower suffix i equal to a lower suffix alpha into del x alpha divided by del x prime i is called covariant tensor of rank 1. 
contravariant and covariant components. If we assume three coordinate curves as u equal to c1, v equal to c2, w equal to c3, then any vector a when resolved along the unit tangent vectors to the curves, then vector a can be written as alpha 1 t1 plus alpha 2 t2 plus alpha 3 t3. The components alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 are called the contravariant components of the vector a. Again, when the vector a is resolved along the direction of the unit normal vectors n1, n2, n3 to the coordinate curves, then the vector a can be written as a equal to beta 1 n1 plus beta 2 n2 plus beta 3 n3. The components beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 of vector a are called covariant components. For example, if Ox1 and Ox2 be the non-rectangular coordinate axis and vector a be any vector, then Op and Oq are contravariant components of vector a. But Ot and Os are called covariant components. Obviously, these components become identical if the axes are at right angles. Tensors of higher order. The tensors of rank 2 contravariant and covariant tensors are given by A prime upper suffix Ij equal to del x prime i divided by del x alpha into del x prime j divided by del x beta into A alpha beta. Again, the covariant tensor is given by A prime lower suffix Ij equal to del x m divided by del x prime i into del x n divided by del x prime j into a lower suffix m n. Similarly, the third rank contravariant and covariant tensors are given by a prime upper suffix i j k equal to del x prime i divided by del x alpha del x prime j divided by del x beta del x prime k divided by del x gamma into a upper suffix alpha beta gamma. Again, the third rank covariant tensor is given by a prime lower suffix i j k equal to del x a divided by del x prime i into del x b by del x prime j into del x c divided by del x prime k into a lower suffix a b c and so on. Thank you. See you in the next video.